Hello everyone. So for today, I was thinking we could remake this lovely thing. It might take a few days actually, but I just, I want to re-jazz this up and this might be a couple parts, but it ain't going to be all the parts at once, so you know. just an old wallet. Someone had used at one point or another. But first things first, I know some of this is rather flimsy and old and I was thinking maybe cardstock might actually help this a little or some kind of piece of fabric or even baby wipe here. So that's my idea at this point is to add some kind of fabrics or something there to add to what's currently there. That ain't gonna work. Lace something. So give me one moment, I'm just gonna go around and grab what I was thinking. <laughs> Here. There we go. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe some kind of lace. That would be cute right in here. Or a piece of fabric, which I think the fabric would work the best. So just because then it'll be still flexible to move, but at the same time, we're getting rid of that piece right here that looks like it's falling apart. Alright, so again, this might be a few parts, but I will not be showing them like daily the different parts because tomorrow is our Pinterest day. And this is where I'm going to be inspired by something Pinterest related. only reason being is because I've been noticing with me doing like series and stuff like that that a lot of people are becoming less interested and I want to keep the momentum going so now I'm gonna start scheduling which days I'm gonna be focusing on stuff so if it seems a little weird that I'm doing one project one day and then the next day I'm doing a different project it's because I want to keep our momentum going instead of playing this awkward not knowing what's next a little bit give us a chance to again do something else I don't know what to do with this portion I kind of want to just, I don't know, because this is a pocket, this is a pocket, these are all pockets. Well, let's just glue this piece on here, 
and go from there because we don't we want this side matching so if I'm going to have it matching up we need it to look correct here make it look fancy but again we're just gonna make this into a little journal I think in the end my plan is to add journal pages to one of these sides and create more to it. This is just to add some sturdiness to this part and to block them cracks in it. I'm wondering if I have tape like this that's a little bit smaller. That would work. Just a little, yeah. Actually, no, we'll do this tape all the way across here. We're just going to do it enough where it's going to tuck in. So. And I am using Fabri-Tac because it is a leather and I'm thinking this leather is going to have a little fun, too much fun. So we'll use our Fabri-Tac to glue it on and take it like this. And this blocks off that again blocks some of that look there but at the same time still allows us to use this. I just want to cut this itty bitty piece off there. <coughs> still makes it look good. So and makes it so you can tell it is what it is. All right. Now I'm flipping it this way so I can do this part. And again, I'll probably be using this here. and gluing it with some Fabri-Tac so it ain't the Fabri-Tac is going to be a little messy but that's okay I'd rather have my fingers full of Fabri-Tac than have something look not right so like that and this one Again, I'm just lining it up here. I want to make sure it's lined up accordingly. There we go. And again, your hands may get messy and 
my hands are full of paint at the moment because I'm working on ceramics on the side at the moment trying to paint them up so if you'd like to I now have a um Spotify which is called let's craft together and it's a little new to me yet so they're kind of like short little episodes but <laughs> I'll get there don't worry it's just a matter of learning how to do these things I mean yeah it isn't like anyone's teaching me how to do a podcast so and I'm just going through what I've been crafting outside of my junk journaling and stuff that I'm doing on here just because I figured this way it's easier for everybody to see what else I'm doing because I think a lot of people think oh she's just does junk journals and that's it no I don't just do junk journals <laughs> I do a lot of different crafts and I don't always express them on here because there's no point to I guess majority of the people who watch me are watching me for my junk journal tutorials and not my craft ideas so I figure this is just a great way of doing this or doing that expressing that portion is by going off and allowing myself to express it in a different way other than videos. And I might not do a lot of, well, again, I'm trying to change things up a little bit here. I'm kind of getting sick of doing the same things over and over again it seems like so I figure you know what I'm gonna try doing it a different way hopefully it works all right there we go I'm just gonna glue this one itty bitty spot here there we go so so far this is what we got going now I was thinking making something that could go fit right into here kind of I don't know all right let's just keep going all right I have these scraps from one of them pink journals and I completely forgot that I even had these so I figure why not use this to fill up this a little bit and then we'll decorate and that type of thing there ain't gonna be any pockets because I think there's enough pockets in here already we're just gonna fill it up the pockets with different things that we make and I mean we have one two three four pages here just sitting here that again haven't really been used so I want to measure out how big I'd like this so I think six inches would be pretty okay and six by three so six by six would be for each of the pages in it <clears throat> So 
So first thing I'm going to do is cut off these strips here. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do is cut off six inches. So that's six right here. And we're gonna do this one more time. Are six by six and then these I'm just gonna throw to the side for right now because I think having let's see one two three four five six seven eight pages are gonna be a little thick so we'll see And again, I'm just folding them in half. And making something like this also, if you're making like the altered cards, because I know a lot of people are doing the altered um, card challenge thing, the 52 card challenge this would be a great way to use them cards is by because they're about business card size so it would work perfectly inside your business cards all right So now it's for me to determine, do I want it put on this side or do I want it put this way? Hmm. I think I'd prefer it to be put this way because then if you want this out of the way, you could just flip it like this and this yeah that would be awesome yeah that would work perfectly then it stays in place without having too much issue i like that idea so that's the idea there here's my needle one two three four this and where is my huh, where did I put it I probably left it on the desk on here and now I'm not going to be able to find it all right we'll use some of this this is some baker's twine I've had this for years I've never really used it um just because I it got lost in moving and so i Again, just never really used it. Because of that reason. I'm in between doing a pamphlet stitch is what I'm probably going to do. Just a regular old three thing pamphlet, pamphlet stitch. So. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, this is going to be extremely thick. So what if I do it this way? That works for me. Again, I can just slip that there. All right. As long as it stays still, that's all that matters. This makes me happy that I have an all. An ice chipper might work too very well when trying to do something like this. Just saying, it might just work pretty well. There we go. Sorry, angled it wrong. Had no clue I angled it wrong. <laughs> it's still moving around on me. Not too bad, but it still does. There we go. Again, this is my first time doing it this way. I never tried this before. So close and yet not exactly where I want it. There we go. Hopefully. Yeah, I think it'll still work the way I want it to. Like this. Yep. And you can barely... It's still noticeable, but it ain't like... Humongously noticeable. So, there we go. We got this done. And actually, you could use this part to hold a page, too. If you're working on one page and you just want to close her up. That would be a great way of doing it too. For right now, I'm just doing this so it stays down for me. Now I want to stick something in this pocket. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this. You know what? I think I want to use this cardstock. Oh, so. I don't use black very often. 
and this cardstock's been kind of just hanging out for too long in my mind. So we're just gonna make it fit. To fit inside here I just want to make sure it fits accordingly yeah all right so what can we do with a black piece of cardstock let's see here well, let's do this first thing. I'm just going to grab right on top. This is what was sitting here. We can do this. I'm going to grab this piece and line it up. There we go. And do I have any glue around? No, I don't. Give me one moment. I'm going to go get some other than fabric hair. My kids like using my glue stick. Especially Bella. Oh, that girl could use my glue stick all day long and he's the happiest kid in the entire world and it's like, no, I don't want to waste all my glue stick on that. I want to do crafts with it. If you're not into glue stick, I understand. Some people think that glue sticks are for kids and not adults. I get it. Everybody has their own ideas on that stuff. So I have this like fake money and I was just thinking that would be cool. So that's what I'm going to do. I found this at, I think actually one of my kids found this and they never ended up playing with it. So let's just use it our advantage and then I'm going to stick another piece like this on here to give it someone space to write on the back side because I think this is light enough where if you write on top of it it isn't going to really matter too much but again, I don't like wasting my kids' toy stuff if I can help it. And they were, again, not really using it. Ended up sitting more than it actually got played with. So. <clears throat> I still don't like how that's laying. Alright. Let's re-glue this. It was not sitting the way it should have on that page. All right. Let's line her up like this. Much better. There we go. Now I'm just thinking more ways to decorate this up. I have tons of these snippets and I just, I keep on neglecting them. I'll admit it. I neglect it. Yeah, I kind of like that. Just random-ish.
just adds a little bit to this page here. All right. Now, I think this is decorative enough. This way, if someone wants to put something else in it or on it, they can. There we go. So now it's laying flat there. I'm just gonna cut this itty bitty piece off because it just doesn't want to stay down. There we go. Now, we have another one here that needs to be used, but what if we just take this, fold it in half, And stick that in there. Ooh, it's a little too long. Sorry, I just snipped it into my garbage. There we go. I'm trying to make sure it's tucked in there pretty well. So then we can still zip and unzip. All right. Now I have tons of these butterflies that are still hanging out on my desk here. <coughs> so I was thinking, instead of letting these butterflies hang out any longer on my desk, I'm just going to stick these butterfly die cuts into our little pocket here. So it has like hidden pieces of ephemera inside it, which I think is a great idea. And I'll be actually adding more little pieces that I have actually right here of different die cuts that I've done over a long period of time that it's just sitting in my desk here and I never really use it. So we're just going to stick them in here, this little pocket here, little tiny die cuts. Now I have tons of Project Life cards so I figure maybe they might fit in there. I don't know. We'll see. The Project Life cards may be a little too big. Yep. All right. But I have these three cards, which probably are not going to be, probably will fit pretty well. Actually, I'm going to stick them here. So, again, just add what you have on hand, and eventually something may come up like this. I have that piece sitting around. Do I have any more small itty bitties in here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Another itty bitty piece that would look pretty in someone's journal. Just looking to see if there's any more pieces that would be kind of enjoyable to see. That works for me. I know some people are like, oh, that, no, it's fine. All right, and I have one of these, and I was thinking that could just slip in the top. And this is just one of them pieces that you can just tear it off and write on it. Books, so that would work perfectly for right there.
just to add a little something here. There. All right, now this is our last little pocket here. I was thinking, why not try to fold this up to the size. So like that. And I'm just going to keep on folding it up to the best of my ability here as many times as I can. Like this. And let's see if it'll stick in. Yeah, perfect. So this is our quick little wallet journal. I'm surprised. I thought it would take longer. Let's see how much time I've been recording. I can't even tell. So, <laughs> please like, subscribe, and comment. I hope you enjoyed this little wallet journal idea. I know I saw something kind of like this on YouTube. I just don't remember who it was, so... I apologize to whoever it is if you're watching <laughs> and you're upset because I took your idea and I don't remember who it was. I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately right before bed so I don't always remember who exactly I get the ideas from. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye.